All right, I'm at the shop. I've been working all morning. Uh, right now it's time for workout, but at lunch, I'm gonna give you guys a really quick intro to TIG welding. All right, well, it's lunchtime here at RCR, so I'm gonna give you guys a really quick overview of how to get started with TIG welding. This is gonna be really basic, like practically like just how to turn the welder on. I'm sure there's a lot of people out there who have a lot of knowledge of welding and will correct me on everything I'm wrong. I'm just gonna teach you what I know. All right, let's get started. Right here is my welding table, of course, down here you have a welder. This is a Dynasty 280 made by Miller. Everything we use here at RCR is a Miller welder. So very first step, we're gonna go over here to the argon bottle when you're TIG welding. You always use argon. And uh, first we're gonna turn the bottle on, make sure it's on. Right here tells you how much is in the bottle. Right here it tells you how much is headed to the welder. Now we're gonna come over here, different welders vary. We're gonna turn on the welder. This welder has a cooler, that's what that is down there. Just the top part of this is actually the welder. Down there is the cooler. The cooler is unnecessary, but very useful if you're gonna be welding for a long period of time. This is what you call your torch. At the end of your torch is your tungsten. Mine's sharpened to a nice point because they're gonna be welding steel. You might want something a little bit flatter for aluminum. Uh, this is a small torch head, I really like it. It's a weldcraft torch, it bends right here. You don't want to bend it too many times because they will break eventually. You'll see if I hit my pedal. Now this ball came up. So we're running about 20 CFH. Uh, now we need something to weld on. The most important thing when welding is cleaning your material. This welder right here has a lot of options, but we really don't need any of them. The two big ones are right here. DC, AC. AC is for aluminum. DC is for steel. All this other stuff is the standard how it's set up. Your welder might not even have this many buttons, but the AC and the DC is the big one, and we're gonna leave it on DC. We're welding at 150 amps because I like a little headroom on my pedal. I'm not gonna flat foot the pedal and run that at 150 amps. We're welding on mild steel, the filler rod is stainless. As soon as I bump my pedal, gas is gonna start flowing out of this to give you a little pre-flow to keep your area clean. When I like to tack something together, I like to hold it tight together. So I got a nice fit. We're gonna do a 90 degree weld here. And then I do what's called a blast tack. Pretty much right there, you're just flattening the pedal until the weld melts together without adding any kind of filler rod or anything. Now that it's together, I'm gonna go ahead and weld it. Now it might be hard to see in this recording, but to get started, I get on the pedal pretty good until I get the stuff start to melt. And as soon as I see the puddles join from the top and the bottom, I add my rod. Then I move on, put a little pressure on, back off just a tiny bit. Move on about a half a puddle width. A little more filler rod, back off a little bit. Move on to the next one, about one more puddle. Move a half a puddle over. Another puddle, half a puddle over. Another puddle. And sometimes I don't really pulsate the pedal. Sometimes I can just hold it steady and make my puddles with my filler rod 
kind of depends on how thick the metal that I'm welding is. It's not bad for reaching over top of a camera. And there's really not much more to it than that. The rest of it is just a lot of practice. It's really hard to tell somebody, you know, how to weld exactly. You just really need to just get in front of a welder yourself and figure it out. I know that was a super quick video. We didn't even get into showing you anything about aluminum, but I only had a little bit of time during lunch to make it. So uh, if you want me to make any more videos that have to do with welding and go into any more details on anything, please let me know in the comments. And uh, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe.